Hello and welcome to 90 East. If you were to grab a balloon and jab it with your fist, nothing would happen. If you were to grab the same balloon and jab it with the same amount of effort, but this time hold a sharp pointed knife in your fist, well, the balloon would most likely pop. This is because even though the force being applied is the same, the area to which it's being applied is much smaller, somewhere in the order of one to 2,000 times smaller. Consequently, the balloon feels that force as being one to 2,000 times more intense when you jab at it with the knife. Pressure is a way of describing precisely how intensely a force is being applied or felt by an object. It's calculated by dividing the magnitude of the force by the area it's being applied to. This means that the same force can exert different levels of pressure depending on the size of the area it's being distributed over. If a force is being distributed over a small, concentrated area, then the pressure will be relatively large. Conversely, if the force is being distributed over a large area, it gets spread out and the pressure it exerts is relatively small. In the next video, we'll be looking at some simple calculations, but for now, you just need to remember that pressure is a way of describing the intensity of a force, that it's calculated by dividing the magnitude of the force by the area it's being applied to, and that as the area changes, so too does the pressure or intensity with which that force is being applied, and it does so in an inversely proportional manner. As always, we hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like and share the video and consider becoming a Patreon by clicking here on this link. Any donation you can make, large or small, really, really helps in the creation of this and future tutorials. You can also check out the associated written tutorial and worksheet in the link below. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to directly send us a message through YouTube or send us an email to 90 at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone.